Call it, call it what you want. The Eagles might have just missed a big opportunity. The Houston Texans have just agreed to trade Jadeveon Clowney to the Seattle Seahawks. And this is my reaction. It was what he wanted. It was either Seattle or Philadelphia. And being honest with you, I didn't expect the Eagles to make the move, make the trade anyway. I really didn't. I didn't think that they were going to do it. I didn't think they had it in them to do it. And I'm not upset about it. You know, it's, it's again, you know how I felt about it. I know a lot of people wanted him. I know a lot of people felt like he would make the team a lot better and felt like, well, of course he would have. He's a great talent. He's a great player. But at the end of the day, it's not worth trading some star potential on offense. And the offense has been the focal point of this whole entire offseason with Carson Wentz getting healthy, Deshaun Jackson's return, trading for uh, Jordan Howard, drafting Miles Sanders, Alshon Jeffrey getting healthy, having Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard 100% healthy, Nelson Aguilar being your slot guy. I mean, the offense right now is loaded, and it's ready to unload itself on every other opposing, opposing defense. And am I... Would I have been happy with us trading one of our key components for a guy on defense to put on our defensive line that's already pretty good? Again, I maybe? I, I mean, it, it's like it's one of those things, but it's like I don't want to see our offense lose out on something that we that we have, that we've already formed this entire offseason. We've taken this entire offseason to, to make this team what it is on offense. And what it is on defense is what it is on defense. You know, that's where most of the injuries are. We get that. We understand. And it could have helped us. We understand. But if you can score points in this game, again, this game, it's all about scoring points nowadays. It's all about passing the football, making big plays happen, making getting points on the board. And you can definitely win with a great defense. We've seen it before, and it's still something today that matters the most. Of course, it, it always matters. But as of right now, Having everything at Carson Wentz's disposal once he's 100% healthy, which he is right now, and ready to roll for week one, which is exactly what he is right now, I feel like that's the more important thing that we need to be looking at over a defensive lineman that has a little bit of an issue with effort. And not only that, but does have an attitude as well. I think we have enough attitude on our team in, <laughs> uh, that we don't really need to bring in another potential troublemaker. Not that he is a troublemaker, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, it's whatever. It, it doesn't, it really truly doesn't matter to me. It's whatever. Good, a good, good job to the Seahawks for acquiring him. Seahawks are definitely going to be in the playoffs this year, I feel it. Uh, I feel like they have a big chance at winning their division. I don't, I don't expect the Rams to be pure, 100% solid for that, you know, for winning that division. I don't think the Rams have it in them to, to really steal it all the way and just cruise you know but on another on another topic the Buffalo Bills just released LaShawn McCoy like two hours ago let me know what you guys think about that links in the description to the podcast because I'm going to be doing podcasts two times a week videos are going to be coming up here almost every day because we are eight fucking days away from Eagles football starting so get hyped it's going to be great I have high expectations, you all know that, and I believe we can do it this year. I believe we're going to have a really great year. So, fly those fly. Have a great weekend, guys, and have a great holiday. See you guys later.